Okay, first thing you want to have ready is the address to where you are going or the resort name and or the town. So it's best to um, screenshot it because you, you're, you're paying for it. You already know where you're supposed to go because when you get into the airport, um, custom is going to ask you specifically where you're going and you ain't passing that spot until you do that that's the first thing now the second thing is have your transportation ready for when you uh, are going if you notice I downloaded two copies of what the daggone pictures of this stuff look these cars look like they're small they're um, very small so if you are a juicy Lucy like myself and you you know got more than two people in that car just you slow that picture down and take a look at it most of the cars look like that you you'll get lucky if you can get something a little bit bigger which we did but that's kind of what you need to look at is the size of the car and the size of all the stuff, the people, and what you're bringing with you. That's another thing. We rented a uh, we rented a home, so turns out they had a washer and dryer there. Be honest with you, you want to dress down. You don't need four or five pairs of six or seven pairs of shoes to switch every night. You're either going to be in the dirt or the sand. So it's really better and easier to be a good pair of sneakers, some sandals, and um, a pair of those uh, water shoes. Those three things is going to make it easier for you. Um, also, when you're coming in a certain type of the year, we're actually in their winter. And it was hot as heck. So just do your homework and know... Um, what time, uh, what time, type of the year it is, the summer, the spring, or winter, or whatever, that's going to help you in the long run. I mean, it, uh, we, I literally had a ball. This place is freaking beautiful. Now, the, when you, uh, your best bet is to bring small uh, bills, you know, singles, fives, and tens. I, I, I bring a few 20s. And maybe one or two credit cards. If you want to have a, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, if you want to get the local money. The uh, the local guy said if you're getting ripped off if you get the, mon the your money at the uh, the airport. So what the, he says is if you want to get you know the local type of money and use some of that, um, go to a bank. But if, if, if I was you, I would get like maybe 50 bucks because you're not used to their money. You need, you need a slide rule, a calculator, and a notebook to keep up with the money you're spending. And our money went real quick and we, we put out a, a whole lot. Use American money because you can use it in the supermarkets, you can use it in all of the stores and everything. It's, they, they don't make it that hard. You only like, you know, at you know the little side uh, side shops and stuff like that you, you would need either, either the American money or the Costa Rican money um, when you leave the airport and you make a left out of the the, par the, the parking lot there is a Walmart uh, a couple of not a couple more than two miles down the road on the left hand side that is the best place to get your meat um, and like essentials if you're renting out a place there are places close to where we went where there was super, there was supermarkets everybody says that the local supermarkets are going to gouge you it actually was a whole lot cheaper to get a lot of the other essentials out and about um, another thing when you're coming to this country just just humble yourself you're gonna see some stuff like you're gonna see a whole lot of barbed wire when I say a lot I mean a whole freaking lot and razor wire 
But I promise you, and I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a big behind chicken. I never felt unsafe while I was in this country and where we stayed, the place we stayed. It, I, I really was very happy with it. I just think that, you know, I think the people that own these places or whatever, they're just trying to keep this stuff. And, and that's what it looked. That's what it looked like to me. Um, watch out for the drivers. This, you know, people. There's big ruts. Ruts means big holes in the street. If you're if you're renting a car, have your stuff ready. Like you know, for example, when we came out of the airport, everybody was so, oh, everybody wanted to help you, help you. And and you know, next thing you know, you know, he he wanted a tip, and I had the Costa Rican money, and the money I gave him, he's telling me it wasn't enough. So be prepared. You know, next time I come, hey, I got two, three bucks. If you don't like it. You know, whoop de do, brother. I feel for you. Um, if you're going to uh, go see the volcanoes or anything like that, get up early and get there early because they close early. That's that's one of the things you know um, we tried to do, but we didn't get there in time. Also, um, do the four do the four wheeling. We, did, we went four-wheeling, and I promise you, you'll have a freaking ball. You know, you just be prepared. You're going to go through some mud and stuff like that. Now, as you can see right here, this is the only beach I had a problem with. And because the people, they, they they don't leave you alone. They Everybody and their mama, old grandma is going to come try to sell you something. You know, I, I, okay, if I buy something, I, I'm cool. If I point you to my wife, that means, okay, I'm done. You know, but that's, you know, that's one of the, the other problems that I had. Everybody on this beach is a well-known beach. Um, they they wanted to sell you everything under the daggone sun, you know, but it, it, it comes with the territory. Um, also know that when you buy something from, you know, the locals, if they're making something in front of you, they use everything and reuse everything. Um, luckily, I knew what bleach looked, real bleach looked like when it came out. The lady used a bleach container as a water, you know, holding water. But bleach looks a little bit more brownish and it comes out, doesn't come out like water comes out. Because we had these um, pina coladas and she I, she poured it in there. I almost freaked out. Then I looked, I was like, that's water. And she just used that as a container. So, you know, it's like stuff like that. Um, a lot of the people here, you don't realize they got money because they they come down from somewhere else and bought, um, uh, you know they bought you know bought homes here and they bought uh, residency there and they and they might not look like it but they they live in their best life and you know <laughs> more power too, but. Uh, the basics is it's oh back to what I was saying like if, you know if you're renting a place or whatever and you're cooking or eating the, the you know bring your own food um, you'll be amazed at the difference in taste and flavor basic freaking flavor from the chicken um, to the seafood to the beef um, it's it's unbelievable even the tough cut of beef that we got from a closed supermarket, it still was good. It, it's it's it still was good. Um, didn't find one local with an attitude, not one. Um, they were very pleasant. The place was very pleasant. Um, just be prepared. For when you when you're driving around, because you have it's a lot of close quarters. These are a lot of small cars, um, a lot of mud areas, a lot of ruts. Ruts means big, big, big holes, big holes in the ground. So just be prepared if you you know if you're going the rental of driving a car and trying to uh, do, to get around. Um, a lot of the old GPSs, even if you Google Maps it. Um, you might not find what you're looking for, but 
um, if you can find some place closer, close to it, like, you know, City Hall or whatever, then you could get there, because we got all the way there, we rode right by the street where our, our uh, uh, place to stay was, and, you know, <laughs> you know, because we found a, a central par- point to stop at, um, but you will notice that and another thing is don't be uh, uh, you don't see too many blinds or curtains in this place around where, where, where we was but um, <laughs> just 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 be prepared you don't see a lot of curtains you know a lot of you know uh, stuff to cover up but there's a lot of foliage, so I mean, if, if someone's gonna be looking at you, they they, they got to go through a whole lot to look at you. You know, you know what I mean. Um, also, be aware that their water table is worse than uh, Louisiana. Not meaning like the water is not drinkable. The water is very very drinkable, but um, like you'll see, like right next door, there was it, it, there was like a freaking lake. You know, you know, the, the lot next door to where we were staying, and on the other side, there's a freaking lake. You know, um, the water table is really high. You could dig like an inch down, and you you would run in the water. So don't, you know, don't freak out when you see something like that. Um, every once in a while, you might, yeah, just might see other than uh, you know the big trucks. I seen one, um, thirty five hundred. Dually truck on the whole the whole place when we were there, <laughs> one, and you're gonna see a lot of motor, motor scooters everywhere. That's how like you know a lot of folks get around. So, um, but again, uh, just come with a humble heart. Notice a lot of these places, you think you're gonna get stuff on the down or the cheap. You're really not. It's it's kind of really comparable to you know what you're gonna pay in the United States. They just they just make it more um, uh, easier to to stomach. <laughs> just be honest, it's just more easier to stomach because you're gonna get towels and stuff for twenty bucks, and you wonder, wow, you know, I'm I'm in this place, and I, yeah, you should be getting it for two or three dollars. But see how their meat right there. How, how skinny them cows are compared to American fat stuffed processed cows. <laughs> we had some T-bones. That mess was freaking delicious. Also, you're going to come through some places like like checkpoints. Um, don't be worried about that. What it looks like they're looking for is people that they're, you know, they don't have the right permits or they're not registered or, or something like that. Because we went through the checkpoints like wham bam thank you ma'am one or two cars pull it yeah to pull over to the side also <laughs> you're gonna run into at least maybe one stoplight <laughs> one or two stoplights it's unbelievable but if you went you, you will enjoy yourself when you go have fun and god bless